Jim Holly, Supercross Live on supercrossonline.com. We caught up with him, Jason Lawrence. We had to chase you down. You missed you in uh, New Orleans last weekend. What happened? Yeah, I wasn't there. I was actually uh, excited for that race and doing some practice with my teammate and just had a little problem where I hurt my foot. It's been kind of an ongoing problem, but it seems if I give it a little bit of time, then it goes away. and It's gone now. I feel good and uh, ready to race. He had a chance uh, to walk the track here in St. Louis. Uh, Travis Pastrana designed it. It looks a little hairy. There's some, some big jumps out there. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely some do or die things, but uh, it's going to be sick. I mean, the track, the layout's perfect. It's tight and it's got inside outsides where you're forced to go inside or outside. There's no middle zone, so that'll make it uh, really good racing. And I haven't seen exactly the whole track, but I know there's a crazy jump over here over the start. Almost there right now. We talked to you in Indianapolis. That was going to be your debut. Uh, having the problems, uh, got sick, uh, actually hurling out there and not, not feeling it. But then you go to Daytona the next weekend and you bust out that second place. That had to have been a, a breakout moment for you this year. Yeah, that was cool for sure. It was more like uh, proving to everyone that I can do that and that I can be competitive in that class as well as showing everyone they're still sticking behind me for a reason that I have all the talent it takes to go out there and win these races in the premier class. So I think it was a good thing. It just sucks we missed the last weekend, but we're going to do the rest of them. Is that something that uh, you know, you're looking forward to next year because you are moving up? Uh, you're going to be full-time in the Supercross class next year, so you want to come out here and show people, hey, I got what it takes to run with the big boys. Yeah, yeah, not only the sponsors and the companies, but the riders too, you know, just so they know that next year I'm going to be ready and I'm going to be full-on prepared to, to honestly try and take home a championship. One thing I was looking at uh, when I was looking on the lap charts uh, for Daytona, I had to put my glasses on because you set fast lap time. Yeah, I did, actually. I had... Uh, I mean, that could have played in a little bit. Just my practice wasn't the same as Bubba's, and the track might have been a little different. I didn't actually notice that. But either way, I was still riding good, and it was good for my confidence. So uh, that was nice. Is that something you look forward to when you come to a track uh, like St. Louis is laying down a fast lap, or you're okay if you finish eighth fastest and just go out and show them what it's like in the main event? Yeah, it's kind of uh, it kind of varies. It's like you like to do good just because it puts it in the head of all the other riders. But if I don't do good, it doesn't really do anything bad to me. I mean, I realize... It's all about just getting that one perfect lap that sometimes you can't get that. You know, whatever whatever is out there that's stopping you could be riders or your own mistakes. But the practice lap times aren't really too important. You know, as long as they're top five, top ten, they're all right. You heard it from Jason Lawrence. He's okay with the top five, top ten. And even if he does come away with the fastest lap time, that's a bonus because he's getting in the riders' heads.